Hello, and thank you for joining me. You're here with data science teacher Brandon, and today we're going to be going over the joint plot, Seaborn's version, really a modern day scatter plot with some extra added insights that we can get from it. So we'll go over the syntax first. So just using the defaults, so SNS is Seaborn.jointplot, standard Seaborn syntax, data equals DF, so we're giving it access to the data frame. X equals to the mass for so one column and Y equals to the other uh, to another numeric column. So these are both continuous variables on both sides. And we can see we get a scatter plot in the middle, and then we get two histograms for the mass for on one side, and then another histogram for the right or for the other variable. So you could line this up. You see here's the highest point, and this one is maybe the highest point of this histogram. So you can be confident that the heaviest weight of the data is right here. But if you're just without the histograms, you're just looking at this, it's pretty hard to see. And truly lining those up is just it's a little bit tedious. So we can make this a lot easier to see. And really a common problem in this day and age is that we have too much data. So the scatter plot just really doesn't work as well as when I was younger. Okay, so what we can do is instead of the scatter plot, we're going to do is we're going to add the argument find equals hex. And this makes a two-dimensional histogram hex plot. And we can get a good sense now where the weight of the data really lies. Because you can now see this intersection right here is where the data lies. But we can also see there's a patch right here where it's much more dense than over down here. And we really, you might be able to assume that from here, but it's really hard to get any concrete sense because really the dots are just on top of each other. You can't really tell how many dots there are. Okay. Another solution when there's just really too much, too much data is using the KDE plot. So this is going to do a two-dimensional KDE, KDE plot, which looks a lot like a contour plot. And this is just the density. And then for every ring out, we have less dense, less dense. So this is really where the center is. And this is really good to help identify really where the weight is and how it expands out. So it can be really interesting. Another good benefit of the KDE plot is we can use the hue argument and we can get a sense of the two different distributions by a category. So here we separated by gender and we can see here we have two different density plots, the KDE kernel density estimation plots uh, right here. We get a good sense that the weight right here and weight right here, they're in two very different spaces uh, considering these two scores. It's really, really interesting to see that next to each other. So we can have a lot of fun with these plots as well. And so this is kind of, I think it's a good practice getting used to calling and using the lower level functions that make up the joint plots. It's kind of good practice with uh, coding in general. But here's what we're going to do is joint plot KWS. So we're going to do a hex bin that we did solve above, and we're going to do joint keywords. So KWS bins for, but this is, this is the joint ones. So this is the one in the middle. It knows that this is a hex. So with a hex, I can signify the bin. This is just arguments for a hex bin plot. And what this does, four bins is the number of the shades of color. So now you can see what we had up here, quite a few different shades of color. If we wanted to generalize it or get more texture, we can change the number of bins in our hex plot. We would use marginal KWS to define what happens on the margins, the outside edges right here. And so this would be defining, we would pass it arguments that have work for a histogram. So we can go bins equals KD or bins equals 20 KDE, which is this line that you can see right here, kind of smoothing line, the kernel density estimation line and equals true and then line width three. And we can see we get a nice, kind of a nice, look, nicer looking plot in that sense. So we have a little bit more fun with this as well. And again, looking at a hex plot, we can get joint KWS, and here I'm going to put the C map equals to SNS.light palette. I just I put in a hex color right here, C map equals true. And now this is going to set the color based on this. So it's going to start with a light color and then it's going to work up. And so this is a purplishly blue color. So you can see we can kind of customize the color that we want to see here. And so if we had a company that we're working for, we could define that by that. And so here we also have marginal KWS and again defining the right hand side. So bins 10, fill false, line width 3. So you get a lot of different effects with this. And really 
the value that you get depends on what you're looking for. I actually find this is better to have four bins here instead of the standard 10, because really we get a good sense of where the weight is. Here we can kind of generalize a little bit, but that can be helpful as well. Thank you very much for joining me. I will see you next time.